Hello students, welcome to talk on civil engineering. Let us see how we can draw the contour lines, the contour map from the data obtained from the total station. Okay, so we'll be drawing the contour lines using the software eSurvey CAD. Okay, so you can draw the contour maps even using AutoCAD also. So, but the drawing the contours using this eSurvey CAD is much simple and easier. So that's the reason we are using this platform. Okay. So the data which we have taken from total station, usually it will be in the text format. So this is a data. So here I have saved that file on my desktop. So this is my the uh, the contour data from the total station, so it, it, which will be in the text format. So you can see this is in text format. So here I have taken around 19, 99 points. Okay, so in this, the first one represents the points. The second column represents the east and the second one, second column represents north and the third one, the last one represents the height or the elevation. Okay, so simply close this as it is close this document. Then now next thing we need to do is we have to open the Excel file, the empty Excel file. So here I'm opening the empty Excel file. So here you need to import that file. Okay, go to open. So actually my file is in desktop, right? So if you click on desktop, it is not showing my text to file. Right? My text to file is not shown here. So what you need to do is the in the in the type of document, you need to select the the text to format. So it is. Yeah, so text to files. So here you have text to files, right? So select this one. Now it is shown. So select this one. This is our file. So select this one and click open. So immediately a box will be open. So our file is delimited. So it is delimited generally when you are exporting the data from total station to a pen drive. So it will ask you to delim delimit based on space or comma like that, right? Or tab. So here we are delimited based on space. So the file type is delimited. So select delimited and click next. So on which type you have delimited. So we have delimited based on space. So space delimination was done. So you can remove tab. So it is space delimited and click next. So it is a text or keep general that is also okay. Uh, click finish. So this is the data. Yeah, this is the data. So you can delete the first one. So it is also taking, uh, saying it is a point one. So delete this one. It is not required. Yeah. So this is our data. So total 99 points are there. Okay. Now save this file. So again, I'm saving this file on desktop itself. As a uh, Excel, and we need to save it as an Excel format. In Excel format, so now close. You can close this file. Now open e survey card. So this is the basic uh, the outlook of e survey CAD. So at the starting itself, you will have files. So click files and create a new file. So here we are intended to draw the contours and give some file name. And this is a uh, address where you need to save this file. Okay, so I, I'm leaving this itself. Uh, C e survey. I'm, my data will be saved in this in this area. So click save. Now next one, go to surface. Click import data. So now we have to, we have to select the Excel file where we have saved that uh, we are converted, right? So this is our the contour Excel file. Click open. 
Okay, and here you need to check this if there is any changes made in the Excel file or if there is any uh, difference is there with respect to this, you need to check, uh, change that. So serial number is there in column one itself and the easting is in column two, northing is in column three and elevation is in column four. And remarks is in, it is saying column five, but there is nothing, nothing is there in column five, even just you can delete also because in column five, there is no data is present in column five. So only we having, we are having only four columns and this is what is there in the uh, Excel data, right? Now you can cl simply cl click import. I'll say no. Okay, so total 100 points are imported. So click OK. So close. Now go to contours, contour maps. So here in starting, you can't see anything, but our data is imported, but you can't see anything. So you have to click to view. Yeah, so here is our data. Actually, some points are here. So this. So some points are some points are mistaken here. So you can delete these points from the data. Okay. So click points. Let us unselect only this point because this point zero zero is placing somewhere. So it is not required. So click view. Click view again. Yeah. So this is our contour. So this is some reference point taken somewhere. So it is not required here. So here, if you see, there is no contour lines has been shown here. So because the general, actually it is done on a plane area. So you need to change the intervals. Okay. So here the, my contour interval is one and my major contours will be shown at every five contour interval. So let me change this contour interval to around point one and let me see view. Yeah, so generally one means one, one meter. Okay, so it is 0 0.1 means, uh, it means 10 centimeters. Okay, Point 0.1 means it is 10 centimeters. Okay, so now it is showing some contour lines. I my, and my major interval is after every 0.5. Okay, so still you can ch change this after every uh, 20 centimeters, you will have a major interval like that. Or if you want to see some more, Contour lines, you can still change this contour interval to instead of 10 centimeters at uh, five, 5 centimeters or 0, 0.5. Click view. Yeah, so you can see here. So this contour interval is default, it will show for 1 meter elevation. For 1 meter elevation. So mm -hmm. if you want this for 0 0.05 or uh, for 10 centimeter, for 50 centimeter, so you can change here. So now I have given for five centimeters. Okay. And this is for major contours. Okay. So this scanning radius, leave it, leave it as it is. So this is, this will be okay. Even you can change this to change gradu gradually. So it means it will, it will, it will show colors from higher altitude to lower altitude. Let us see this also change gradually. I'm selected change gradually. Click view. Whenever you change something, you need to click view. So now see here, this my blue lines. This is, a, this is, uh, it is a lower altitude le level. And so this, uh, the light green color. So this is my higher altitude level. Okay. So like this, it gradually changes from lower altitude to higher altitude. So like this here also. So it is my higher altitude and it's slowly changing this color to lower altitude. Okay. Yeah. And the smoothening, uh, smoothening contours. So if you select this, the curves will be very uh, smooth. And if you deselect this, now you can see the edges are too sharp, right? The edges are too sharp. And if I select this and click view, now you can see the edges are very smooth. Okay, and th that's it. So if you want to change or edit any type, any data, so click points here and you can delete, or you can select or deselect any data, or you can even edit this data as well. Okay. So this is how you can draw the contour lines and you can take the screenshot and even you can uh, add or import this file to CAD also. Okay. So thank you all.